Everest and I'm here at Everest Base Camp. Good morning and Tashi Delek to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jim Young and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to show you a day of a guest house owner at Everest Base Camp. But before we start this beautiful video, I hope you don't miss our last video which is about a rural life at Everest Base Camp. Alright, then let's begin our day in the life of a Tibetan tent guest house owner at Everest Base Camp. This is Tashi, 24 years old, and she owns a tent guest house at Everest Base Camp. Oh, that looks so beautiful. What's that, Tashi? It's two degrees outside the tent and it looks like all the guests are already awake waiting for Tashi to light the fire. Sunrise at base camp is around 6 a.m. and even in June, the temperature in the morning here is minus 10 degrees to 0 degrees. But the temperature inside the tent when burning yak dung is 13 degrees. Tashi's first job in the morning is to prepare breakfast for her guest, but due to this cold temperature, most guests ask her to cook cotton noodle soup instead of bread for breakfast. I honestly don't think every traveler to Everest should worry about what to eat there, since you can order whatever you want to eat at Everest Base Camp. And do you know most of the hoteliers in Everest Base Camp must also be able to cook, but I think Tashi is the best cook at Everest Base Camp. Wow, that looks so delicious. I wonder how it tastes like. This hot noodle soup is just perfect for 5,200 meters of elevation at Everest Base Camp. After she serves breakfast to each guest, she will start making them hot ginger sweet tea, which is really, really good for the high altitude. And after breakfast, Tashi checks the oxygen and keeps reminding her guests that the best medicine for the altitude sickness is not to think about the altitude. Although it is not Tashi's responsibility to clean the toilet, she does so every morning because she wants every traveler to have access to clean toilets during their time at Everest Base Camp. And in Tibet, there is unique hospitality custom which services are always completely genuine and honest because it's so deeply rooted in Tibetan culture and Tashi make extra efforts to provide guests with the best experience as possible without expecting anything in return. Oh, it looks like her guests are leaving. <laughs> and in order to protect the ecological environment at the Everest Base Camp, every tourist must take an eco bus. This ticket is for eco bus and we have to take an eco bus from a village called Taishizong to Everest Space Camp for 45 kilometers. And we also have a waiting room for eco bus. Only the electric cars are allowed to drive till to Everest Space Camp. We also have a charging port for every electric car. After the guests leave, Tashi will go to burn incense and pray that Mount Everest will bless the guests to return home safely. This mountain has four different names. In Tibetans, we call it Chongmo Langma. In Nepalese, they call it Sagar Mata. Chinese, they call it Dufung. And in English, we call it Mount Everest. And we Tibetans think this mountain is the mother goddess of the world. And also, Mount Everest is actually named after George Everest, the first person to record its height and location. 
Tashi, can you please tell me what is this tent made of? This tent is made out of yak hair and it is a windproof, snowproof, waterproof. And during daytime, it absorbs the heat and it keeps all the rooms really, really warm. So that's why they are using the yak hair tent at Everest Base Camp. And now Tashi will start to clean her yak hair tent. To keep the tent clean, she rechecks the floor and cleans it again and again, mainly to keep her guests happy in her tent. Then she sanitizes the whole room. And finally, Tashi has time to wash her face. Tashi, can you please tell us what does the pink hairband on your hat mean? Oh my god, look at this dormitory. Tashi is definitely such a patient and hardworking woman. Oh, by the way, Tashi is married and she has a son who is taken care of by her parents and her husband is a construction worker in Lhasa. And after cleaning, she starts counting her income. Tashi can earn about 7,000 to 10,000 yuan a month, which is actually quite a good income. It seems that she is very satisfied with the income this time. And finally, it's Tashi's breakfast time where she starts with making butter tea, also known as pucha, a popular Tibetan beverage in which tea leaves are boiled in butter salt and sometimes milk to create a strong creamy drink. And it's Tashi's favorite time of day to have breakfast with other hoteliers and enjoy the view of Mount Everest while discussing how to improve the service for guests. <laughs> Every day after breakfast, Tashi cleans around and at Everest Base Camp, it's very important for everyone to maintain a clean kept area in front of their guest house, which also includes public walkway, although not her responsibility to clean, she do it anyway. And Tashi's tent has two single rooms, three double rooms and an eight-person dormitory. And a single room and double room are 200 yuan per night and the dormitory is 150 yuan per person per night, which I really think the price is very reasonable at every space camp. Since last year, every tent has tap water so they don't have to go to the river to wash things which really saves a lot of trouble for them. Hey Tashi, it's time for meeting! And do you know the government sends experts and doctors to give them lessons every week teaching them how to serve guests, how to protect the environment, and how to save guests in emergencies. This is Dolma, Tashi's best friend, and Tashi will explain to Dolma what she doesn't understand at the meeting because Tashi has at least been to high school and knows more Chinese than Dolma. Other guest house owner wash their sheets and kilt covers in washing machine, but Tashi always prefer to wash it by hand because she think it is cleaner than machine washing.
This is Rombok Monastery, the highest monastery in the world. And whenever Tashi has time, she will go to this monastery to pray, wishing to bring peace and happiness to all living beings. Rombok Monastery is located near northern foot of Mount Everest at an altitude of 5,009 meter. Rombok Monastery was founded by Lama Ngawan Tenzin Norpu in 1902. There are currently 30 monks and 30 nuns. Interestingly, every climber must visit this monastery and receive blessing before climbing Mount Everest. And when you are here at base camp, I really recommend you to visit this beautiful monastery. Tashi was blessed by the white scarf sent by the monastery, which is called Kata in Tibetan. When you travel to Tibet, people always welcome you with white scarves, wishing you long and happy life. Oh, it's lunchtime. Let's see what Tashi is going to cook for lunch. I will definitely say Tashi is the best chef at Everest Base Camp. And I think when you visit Everest Base Camp, you should also try highest dish in the world cooked by Tashi. It looks so, so delicious. And I would definitely say Tashi is hardworking, but also the happiest woman. Most tourists stop in Shikatse for one night before going to Mount Everest and need to drive 350 kilometers to get here. So in the afternoon, tourists slowly start to reach at the base camp and then Tashi also start to open her fossil shop. So this kind of fossil is about 10,000 years old and by this awesome chance, She's going to take us where she can find this kind of 10,000 years old fossil. And due to the high altitude and cold weather, nighttime and early morning temperatures can drop significantly. So no matter what season you travel, you really need a warm, good coat. This kind of fossils are 15 meters years old and all those fossils are found near Mount Everest and if you are lucky you can also find fossils here and Tashi seems to be very happy today because she can sell it from 500 to 1000 yuan And after selling her fossils, she will go shopping in the supermarket. At Everest Base Camp, we also have a really good supermarket where you can buy rings, snacks, lots and lots of things you can buy here at this shop at Everest Base Camp. You also can buy postcard and can get a stamp at here, the world's highest post office, just next to Mount Everest. Many other guest houses are mostly empty in the afternoon until the tourists don't arrive. But Tashi still has business to do because many people know that Tashi's hot yak noodle soup is very delicious. So many pilgrims also choose Tashi guest house to eat this famous yak meat noodle soup. <laughs> Bye bye, see you next time. Tashi likes to weave blankets and drink butter tea in her spare time, and these are her hobbies.
Oh, it looks like time to get new oxygen cylinder. And Tashi will keep one in each room just in case. More and more tourists begin to arrive at base camp. So Tashi begin to change the sheets and quilts cover for her new guest. Oh, it's sunset time and I think Tashi is so lucky because she can enjoy this amazing view as the sun casts golden hues on the majestic mountains every day. So this is all about Tashi's tidy life here at Everest Base Camp and around 12 p.m. she go to bed once the guests sleep. And this is all about today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jamyang. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one who can show you the original Tibet. Bye bye.